Hi, my name is Rob Ray with MP3 Car. I'm here with Azar from TTXGP. Hello. And you guys have made a really interesting product. Tell us a little bit about it. So we're a motorsport uh, promoter, okay. and we run events around the world now running motorsports. And one of the, uh, the main thing about us is we do zero carbon motorsports. Okay. So to run in our events, you can't burn any kind of hydrocarbons at all. So predominantly they're electric. And one of the challenges our teams have is to enter our race, they have to build their own bike. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we've done now is to help those teams, we've built a basic concept. Uh, well, it's not a concept. Actually, you can buy this now. It's it's real. But a, a core platform that they can start building and developing and racing from. And that's what this is. So this is the TTX 2 which we've uh, launched today from Mavizen. The um, first bikes should be available for customers by March. Okay. And uh, they can register online to buy one at uh, mavizen.com. So you have Linux running on here. Yeah, so the uh, the entire system runs on a on a Z530 board, okay. uh, and we've uh, we've tested different operating systems. Uh, we've tested uh, Windows, and but right now we're running Linux. Yeah. You said before in one of your speeches that it's a USB bus, and right. that everything's controlled over a USB bus. Right. Uh, some people would say, you know, automotive, it doesn't, it's not USB bus isn't stable enough for that. How have you hardened some of your components to make it so that USB is, is road ready and? Uh, well, for, firstly, bikes um, are a, a significantly simpler okay. uh, challenge to deal with than cars. Okay. And actually not having a violent engine and all that kind of stuff to deal with actually makes life a lot simpler. Interesting. All right. So uh, a combustion engine environment isn't very good with electronics in terms of sensors, in terms of everything. So here you have a completely clean machine. This entire bike only has two moving parts okay. in the entire system. We have no gearbox and everything runs here. We have a controller which has a USB output mm -hmm. uh, which feeds into our into our board. When you say controller, do you mean the, the battery uh, uh, controller? No, there's, there's a, uh, yeah, an energy controller. Yeah. Okay. Battery, there's a battery management system okay. and then there's a controller. And both of those are USB based? Well, the battery management is something we've had to build ourselves. Okay. And that will have a, bat uh, will have a um, uh, USB face by the time it launches. But the controller has a USB interface now. Okay. Yeah. And then, so what else is on the USB bus? Because you said you could control it, you can log in. There must be some type of Ethernet interface. Is there a Wi-Fi interface? No, no. This uh, we don't have Ethernet. This comes with a Wi-Fi. Okay. And the uh, the basic machine runs a web server, okay. which you can activate. So as you rock into a uh, uh, into your paddock, you can log onto the bike like a website, and it files up some basic pages, and uh, you can configure the bike, make changes, everything that you could do uh, normally. You could you can upload software whatever you need to do. Yeah, and you were talking about uploading custom parameters. So if you like your bike to behave in a certain way, you could upload those behavior patterns over that. Yeah, so what we're doing server. is um, that's to come because to make that bit happen, okay. some of the key changes we need to implement are the active suspension and the dampening system. So in bikes, suspension is absolutely crucial to how a bike handles rides, everything mm -hmm. else. So this bike obviously doesn't have active today, mm -hmm. but eventually the idea is, and we're talking about 2011, 2012, to have active suspension settings. So you can then download a profile, this is how their bike was set up, and off we go. So what's made you decide to open source your software? Because there's a lot of big companies out there that say, hey, there's no way we're open, this is our secret sauce, we're not doing it. What's your theory about why you want to open source your software? Uh, because I've got nothing to lose. Okay. Uh, really, uh, we're starting at the bottom of the chain. Why should, why should I protect anything? There's, it's more profitable for me to be collaborative with people. It's actually more profitable for everybody. We're at an industry which is not 100 years in the tooth. You know, we're just starting out. Right. There's um, one company can't possibly dominate this. So why don't we just crack the problems together and grow the market? There's, there's plenty for everybody. I, I, I personally have no problem with sharing what we need to share as long as it's on an equitable basis where we get something back and we give something. No problem at all. Great. Well, can we take a look at some of the USB stuff inside the, the uh, bike? Yes, you can. Tell us about what's in here. So this is, uh, um, this is running the complete OS. So right now, what happens at boot up time, it downloads everything onto an internal memory. So from, this, from this USB from this stick? From this USB stick. Okay. The OS, the application, the whole shooting match. So here it's uh, loading up now, uh, the final thing. And again, from a development perspective, it allows us to make changes quite quickly. We can pull the key out. I mean, once it starts up, you'll be fine. So the idea of having this particular setup is to allow a wide variety of very uh, cost-effective 
peripherals. Things like cameras, GPS, sensors, um, accelerometers, anything you need from a racing perspective, you can plug it in and you get access to the engine management information. So having a, for example, having a, a, a ride by with a video camera isn't useful if you don't know what the machine and the rider was doing at that moment in time. Right. So here you get a video with a telemetry track. Very customizable. Very customizable. It's all open source, so do we like. Thanks a lot for the tour. It's really a pleasure. Congratulations. Thanks.